Next, a tent is made in form of a frustum of a cone surmounted by another cone. Okay? Now understand this first first line. This is important. Frustum of a cone means a section of a cone surmounted by another cone. See here, here are, there are two cones. One is this base cone and second is this top cone. Right? And now the details. The diameter of the base and top of the frustum are 20 and 6 meters respectively. And the height is 24 meters. Okay? So this is of the base frustum. See, this is 20, this is 6, so half will be 10 and 3, and height is given as 24. See, this is the height, okay? This 24 is for this height, not for this. This is given as A we have taken, okay? So, 24 is this height. Next, the height of the tent is 28 meters, means total height is 28. So, this is 24, so remaining height of this cone will be 4 now, right? And the radius of the conical part is equal to the radius of the top of the frustum. Means this cone is exactly fitted on this top. That's why both the radius are same. Find the quantity of canvas required. Canvas means what? The total surface area you have to you have to find out. But surface area when you find out, there are two surface areas to this cone. One is from inside, one is from outside. You don't have to find out both the uh, inside and outside because we want the canvas. So, you find only once, one time. So, once you understood, the problem is easy now. Quantity of canvas equals to surface area of frustum plus surface area of cone. Okay? Look at this image properly. This will give you many hints. See, the D is 6 over here for the top and bottom D is 20. Now, you bring the full D from the top, the, the image or reflection of that at the bottom. So, what will happen? Below it will be 6 over here and remaining will be what now? 20 minus 6 that is 14. So, 14 divided into 2 parts 7, 7. Right? So, this part is 7. Now, important part. This is 24. This height is 24. It's given. This is 7. Okay? So, the slant height will be what? Pythagoras theorem 24, 7 and this will be it's 25. See this. A square equals to 24 square plus 7 square, 576 plus 49, 625. So, A equals to square root of 625, 20, uh, that is 25. So, A you got now, 25. Now, you want to find the surface area of the frustum first. Now, see, the surface area of frustum is given by pi into R1 plus R2 into L. L is slant height and R1 plus R2 are the two base area and base this radii. Okay? So, pi into L is common. So, L is 25. We have just now found out this A part. Pi into 25 into R1 plus R2. What is R1? This is 10. And this is 3. Right? So, 10 plus 3. That is 13. So, 3.14 into 25 into 13. So, it becomes 1020.5 square meters. See here. Remember this formula for frustum. In fact, I would say remember all the formulas for the frustum. That is very difficult. The volume of frustum is also difficult and surface area of frustum is also difficult. So, remember both. Okay. Now, surface area for the cone, top cone. So, that is pi R L. L is what? This is 3. Then height is 4. Right? This height we have found out over here. This 4. Because total height was 28. This was, frustum was 24. So, this will be 4. Okay. So, this is 4. This is 3. Then L will be what? Root of 3 square plus 4 square Pythagoras. That is 25. That is 5. So, L equals to 5. This is L5. So, surface area of cone is what? Pi R into L. 3.14 into 3 into 5. So, 47.1. So, now you got to both the surface areas. So, quantity of canvas is 1020. That is this of the first term. 0.5 plus 47.1 that is 1067.6 square meters this much cloth will be required or canvas will be required download yuvaguru app from play store to get these videos test question banks with explanations directly on your mobile get 500 plus questions with explanations and case studies on your pc it's a separate paid version follow us on facebook on this link whatsapp us on this number for any query related to